Hello, this is D and I'm back with another video. Well, yesterday in a video announced that SIGGRAPH their long rumored new line of GPUs. Now these will be the RTX Quadro 5000, 6000 and 8000 series GPUs. Now this is the world's first ray tracing GPU. Now these new GPUs will feature tensor cores, ray tracing cores for ray tracing and of course your traditional shader compute cores. Now I'm just going to go over a little bit of the specs here and this is going to be a very brief video just going over some of the news that we got Got from yesterday now if you want to see the whole presentation in its entirety I will leave a link in the description down below as I live streamed it from my channel yesterday now the Quadro RTX 5000 will have 3072 CUDA cores it will have the memory of 16 gigabytes of GDR6 and it will have 14 gigabytes per second memory speed and will retail for 2300 US dollars now the Quadro RTX 6000 will have 4608 CUDA cores 24 gigabytes of GDR6 memory and also will clock at 14 gigabytes per second for the memory now this will retail at a higher price of 6300 US dollars now last but not least we have the Quadro RTX 8000 and this will as well have 4608 CUDA cores but will have a whopping 48 gigabytes of GDR6 memory and the memory speed will as well be 14 gigabytes per second and this will retail for 10 thousand US dollars now of course these new cars that they announced yesterday are not traditional gaming cars now these are workstation cars for the professionals that create content hence why the price is so high now for us gamers out there we're gonna get a cut down version of these cards Nvidia cleverly hinted in a new GeForce gaming celebration video that we will be getting the 2080 series now at first glance when you're watching this video it doesn't really seem like much but when you do some deep digging you actually see that they're giving us many hints to what the next graphic card announcement will be now if you look at the video there's one user that says Roy Tex now the R the T and the X are all in capitals of course this stands for RTX now another user in the video is named not 11 now in the last few weeks there have been a lot of rumors circulating that the next line of GPUs would be the RTX 1170 and 1180 now not 11 is clearly stating that the next line of GPUs will not be the 11 series now another user is called Mac 20 which of course stands for the 20 series and another user is AT now 20 80 of course you know what they're hinting at the RTX 20 series now they also have GPS coordinates now when you punch in these coordinates it leads you to Cologne Germany now of course Nvidia is holding an event there August 20th and it's rumored that the RTX 2080 will be announced there now at the end of the video they have rolling date numbers and they appear in this order of 2 zero eight zero clearly stating that the next card to be announced from Nvidia will be the RTX 2080. I'm very excited that these cards will be able to do ray tracing in real time. Now, ray tracing will make our games in the future look significantly better. Now, before everybody gets all excited thinking that all the next generation games will have ray tracing, I have to be honest here. The only game that I know thus far that offers ray tracing is going to be Metro Exodus that comes out next year. Now, of course, some other games will use this feature, but at first, not many games will be using it now I would expect in the next four years that the majority of games will be using it at that point now they have a whole bunch of new features on these GPUs I'm just gonna list a few of them now they have of course in the video link that when you link two GPUs together they talk to one another and they act as if they're one and you can get up to 96 gigabytes of memory bandwidth when you're using a video link now the RTX 8000 is gonna have 10 gig arrays per second and the RTX 6000 is gonna have 10 gigabytes Race per second now the RTX 5000 has a little bit lower number of six giga race per second now going by this metric if I had to guess I would say that the RTX 2080 probably will have three giga race per second now there's some rumors circulating that AMD's next architecture Navi is gonna have 20 teraflops of performance and as well will support ray tracing so this is very interesting time in the GPU market anyways I want to know what you guys think about Nvidia's new touring architecture and if you guys are gonna be upgrading your GTX 1080s or your GTX 1080 Ti's to get these new GPUs or if you're just gonna hold on to them do you think AMD will be able to counteract what Nvidia announced yesterday at SIGGRAPH now I'd like to know what you guys think so please leave your comments down below and like I usually say please like share and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys on the next one